at Vancouver Public Library in downtown Vancouver for the Muharram procession. Every year in the month of Muharram, the organizer of Azad Hussein and the Shia community around Vancouver, they organize this event to spread peace and message of Islam to all the people around the world. Don't leave me Cause maybe I won't get to see you again It hurts me To think that this could be good As I was telling you guys earlier, the crowd was waiting to cross the street and they're going to be heading towards uh, Vancouver uh, Art Gallery. I have one of the uh, participants here, his name is Rashid, and he's going to be talking about uh, who is Hussain.org campaign. Assalamu alaikum Rashid. Alaikum salam How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, very well. Uh, you are here with the crowd and you want to pass the message of peace and justice to the people of Vancouver and also the people of the world. And you also have this campaign going. And what is this campaign? Can you explain more about the campaign, who is Hussain.org? Who is Hussain? Yes, yeah, certainly. The who is Hussain.org campaign was... Um, Introduced a few years back in the UK uh -huh. by a different um, by different organization, youth organizations, and so far it's been a great success globally. And this is our second year that we're introducing the Hussein Hussein campaign in Vancouver uh, with our Vancouver representatives. Uh, this year they've introduced a campaign called Hashtag Team Give Back, and basically it's what can you give back by being inspired by. This Imam Hussein, and what can you give back to your community, to the people, and those in need? Very good, thanks. And also, are you guys handing out the water bottle this year as well for the Hus Hussein? Yes, we are. We're handing out. Uh, this is handing out water bottles for the Hus Hussein campaign, as well as we have uh, pens as well and some other items as well. I believe they have umbrellas ready as well. Yeah. I'm sure you guys already have a booth set up at uh, Vancouver Art Gallery. Yes, we do. Uh, do you have lots of volunteers with this? Uh, or, uh, Alhamdulillah, yeah, we have a good turnout of volunteers this year, better than other years as well. And uh, inshallah, we look forward to getting more and more volunteers as the years come. Thank you very much. Okay, what, is, what kind of message is this uh, trying to tell the world? You know, we really want to make sure people, the general people, the public people of Vancouver, to realize who Imam Hussein was and who... We're just gonna walk. Sorry. Yeah. What his sacrifice was for, and you know, we need to understand it was more than just uh, a battle that was fought 1,400 years ago. We need to learn the, from the message. Him standing against the tyranny of his time was the biggest message we could uh, we could get. You know, we in our daily lives we need that, especially with what's going on around the world. It's truly a strong message to us and everybody else uh, around the world that Imam Hussein stood up. And so we, we also need to stand up against tyranny, whoever it may be. And this is just symbolizing what we, uh, what we want to spread uh, to, our, to the public and we want them to understand who Imam Hussein is. Thank you very much, Brother Jawad, for your time. Thank you. Why are you here today? What's the event? What's going on here? We came to walk uh, to remember Imam Hussein in, in Vancouver, right here. So it's it has to be the message has to be out and loud to uh, everybody here that know the name of Imam Hussein, what kind of a person and what kind of a man he was. That's why we're here. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Um, I think that everyone should just be here because of Imam Hussein. He was a great role model for us. He was somebody we could really depend on. I mean, um, if it were me, I wouldn't sacrifice my life for everyone else. So I just think that he's truly a hero. The purpose to be is to show people that we're not just here as big as people. We're here to show the people that. And Imam Hussein fought for a reason, and he died for a reason, to bring justice, and we're not going to let people kill that. I'm here with uh, Ali Samak, uh, one of the executive members of uh, MYM, Muslim Youth in Motion. 
Uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the events and what is happening today. And uh, yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah. Uh, so what is this event all about? Uh, can you give us more details about the event and what is going on? And yeah, uh, how so come we have so many people here? I'm sure there's a lot of people that are standing on the sidewalk. They're asking uh, what's going on. And of course. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of uh, the reason that we are out here. It is it is to spread the message of Imam Hussein to the people. Um, a man who stood up against oppression and injustice. He stood for humanity and dignity. Um, and we just want to share this message because we know he doesn't belong only to us. He belongs to the world. And so we want to get as many people people and kind of scratch their curiosity um, and we alhamdulillah I've been getting a lot of questions who is this Hussein you know they see all these people gathered here today they ask who is this man you know you know 1400 years ago he died why is he still important um, so alhamdulillah I think we're doing a very good job all these volunteers we have probably a hundred volunteers out today and uh, they've done a very good job organizing the event so I'm very proud uh, that we could uh, have this and even though um, you know, it is raining, it might be a little cold for a lot of people, um, but you think about what Imam Hussein had to go through and you say, can't we endure a little bit of uncomfortability kind of thing, um, uncomfortability, so Alhamdulillah, I think this is the message of Imam Hussein will transcend, you know, any kind of physical barrier and we can reach as many people in the world because that's the most important thing. We want to just tell people about Imam Hussein and I'm sure they'll fall in love with him. Thank you for your time. Worlds apart, I search for the road from me to you, O Hussein. What veils and what worlds exist between myself and Hussein? Worlds apart, I search for the road from me to you, O Hussein. What veils and what worlds exist between myself and Hussein? Can one who the heart has stolen be worlds apart from his servant? Can one who the heart has stolen be worlds apart from his servant? He who wanders the world of love, I stand alone at this world's end. My eyes search for your figure, so to yours I can attend, and yet still worlds apart I stand. What is this event all about? So basically, this is a procession that we're doing for to commemorate the martyrdom of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Um, this uh, legacy of marching for him and remembering him every Muharram and going on to the streets to remember him and, and mourn for him and remember his legacy is something that's very common in many different cultures and we're trying to also bring this to the Canadian culture, which we're all a part of. And uh, what basically the message that we're bringing with us is a legacy of standing up against oppression, standing up for justice, standing up for human rights, standing up for dignity. And uh, we're also remembering the stand that Imam Hussein took in Karbala 1400 years ago. The son, He was the grandson of the Holy Prophet. And um, he stood up against a very oppressive tyrant who did not care. He, in the name, he called himself the leader of the Muslims. And in the name of Muslims, he was he was committing all these tyrannical acts, and he was corrupting the religion. He was corrupting the Muslims, and he was corrupting the regime. And uh, Imam Hussein took a stand against that. He said, "Someone like me cannot, you know, listen to a man like him." And we find that this is something relevant. And we commemorate this every year because this is something that's all that's universal. That we that even is, is relevant even today, especially with so much injustice going on in the name of Islam. And um, 
there are, there, are, there are right now, like if we look, there are people who consider themselves the leader of Muslims, but they're in a minority and they corrupt the message of Islam and, and they're oppressive and they're tyrannical. But Imam Hussein's legacy reminds us to remember the message of justice and equality. I see. There's a campaign going on by the name of Who's Hussein campaign. Yeah. Can you tell us more about the Who's Hussein campaign? Yes, so the Who's Hussein campaign is a campaign that a bunch of people did. A lot of people have questions about, you know, when we're doing this procession or we talk about Imam Hussein, the, the first question that would come to a non-Muslim's mind or someone who's not familiar with Imam Hussein is who is Imam Hussein? So what this uh, campaign does is it asks you to go online and search on the website and there's a lot of information on Imam Hussein's figure and it just gives people the, the tool they need to start the research on Imam Hussein. Thank you very much for taking the time speaking to us. Thank you. An honor. He wanted to save the religion of Islam from those evil hands who hijacked Islam for their personal interests. Imam Hussein rose purely for God and humanity. He did not expect Anything. Uh, who is Imam Hussein and uh, and uh, who is he in the history of uh, Islam? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Imam Hussein alayhi salam is the third leader uh, for our uh, Shia because we have Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Hassan alayhi salam, and uh, his brother, Imam Hassan's brother, it's Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and he was martyred in Karbala 1400 years ago. Today in Vancouver, downtown Vancouver. Um, as you see, it's raining, but you can see actually how many people actually attended. And this is great to see a uh, Shia community, you know, coming together and to commemorate the martyrdom and shahadat of uh, Imam Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam. We're here to, you know, show our uh, love to Imam Hussein alayhi salam uh, because when you come out, I know we have our nightly programs uh, in our centers, Husseiniya Masajid. But it is important actually to come out and show other people from a different religions. Non-Muslims. Non-Muslims, exactly. As you can pass by and you see non-Muslims actually looking at us, just wondering what's going on here. So just question mark for them. It's great for us because then we have answer for them. If they ask, we have answers. We give them papers, we give them websites. They can go, they can search, and they can find out. I was actually talking to one of the Canadians. He came to me and he was asking me, like, what is all this about? And I was explaining to him, he was very interested to find out what's going on here. Yes. This is what we're looking for. This is exactly what we're looking for. It doesn't matter how many people actually come to you, ask you about Imam Hussein. Even one person if comes by and asks us, you know, what's going on here. And we have answer for them. And at least tell them who's Imam Hussein. If they know it, this is the, re this is the goal. This is the reason we're here in downtown Vancouver. Thank you, Brother Hussein, Thank for you. taking the time and talking to us. It was great to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Son of Muawiyah, whose sole purpose was to rule the Muslim Empire through any means necessary, including horrendous acts of violence, massacres, propaganda, and corruption. Year after year, the tragedy of Karbala is recounted to us making our grief fresh and softening our hearts as we continue to mourn the loss of our Prophet's beloved family. This sadness incites some questions within us and many others. Throughout history, people have been oppressed. It's a cold day and I'm sure that a lot of people are attending this event and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit hard for some of the people, especially it's, uh, some of the families that have kids, uh, they brought their young kids to this event and what is the purpose of this event? Uh, how come so many people are so interested to come on this rainy day, cold day, to um, join this event or to participate in this event? What's the reason? Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration from Imam Hussein for what he stood for, what he took to stand. Everybody supports him, um, in, especially in today's day and age where there's so much charity and oppression. Mm -hmm. And Imam Hussein stood against that. And inspiration is inspiration from his from his actions um, is what's what's keeping people here. I see. If you were to describe this uh, event in three words, what would it be? Unity. Uh, well, inspiration, of course, and uh, per perseverance in getting the word out. Thank you very much. What's the message that we're trying to pass on to the non-Muslims? Well, basically, every year we do this. Um, it's definitely, first of all, it's for us, but it's also to spread the message and 
you know, people see people walking down the street wondering what's going on, right? So we do this to spread that message and we have some chants and uh, we, you know, hand out some flyers and we give up some water bottles and mashallah, this um, Who's the Hussein campaign has been very successful. Um, I know a lot of people are really inquiring about what it is and uh, it's, it's been great every year, alhamdulillah. Yes, thank you very much. Nay, when the earth is made to crumble to pieces and your Lord comes and also the angels in the ranks and hell is made to appear on that day, on that day shall man be mindful and what shall be mindful then avail him? He shall say, Oh, would that I had sent before this my life? But on that day shall no one chastise with anything like his chastisement. And no one shall bind with anything like his binding. O oh, soul that art at rest. Return to your Lord, well pleased with Him, well pleasing Him. So enter among my servants and enter into my garden.